I think he was right over in here when he did that video a week ago or whenever it was. Hope I'm right, there's a long ways to walk. <laughs> well, welcome. Okay, uh, the reason you're seeing this video on Mary's Peak, which is close, not too far from me, uh, is because of this man right here, Nick Zentner. Uh, I follow him, I watch some of his stuff. I actually watch a lot of geology, I actually study a lot of geology. And um, a video came up the other day, he's a lead geologist at Washington State University. Uh, if you go down here and read comments on him, you'll see how everybody thinks he's a Greek god and how awesome he really is, and it just makes you want to puke. <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> it's really sad, man, what people, he, they think he's just got the whole world figured out, and he's, he's just, he's it. The thing is, that I noticed when I seen this video when it popped up, was he's calling this stuff pillow basalt, okay? And it's not pillow basalt. Um... The name of this video is Selech Pillows Mary's Peak. He's calling this stuff Pillow Basalt. And <laughs> I, 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 as soon as I seen it and what he was calling Pillow Basalt, I was like, are you kidding me? I, I knew exactly what it was. For one thing, it's not Pillow Basalt. Even if it had been geological, it would have been, uh, if, even if it was geological, it would be concretion. See these round? They're all round in here. They're all round objects, okay? And they, when you get them split open, they're all cauliflower like that. I call it starburst. And this is interstitium. This is biological, okay? He thinks it's pillow basalt, which is, you know, it gets below the surface, you know, and then it gets trapped. And he thinks it's making this pattern, and it's not. This is supposed to be, you know, 56 million years old from the Celeste event. And it's not. These repeated patterns, you're going to see, I went up there. I had to go up there and see. I mean, I, I planned a trip. It took me two days to get all planned because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. This is interstitial. These are balls. They're all balls, okay? Every one of these are balls, okay? That makes sense? And you can see them here. I'll show them in the video. And the thing he was, and the thing is, when they get, they get cut in half or whacked open or whatever, or broke open, they're all starburst and they're all identical, Okay, that would never hap, hap, happen in truce of basalt at all, ever. Okay, it doesn't happen that way. If you take a, if you take a look at what they call pillow basalt, it, it doesn't do this. It, you know, when it, when it, stuff that we can go find after, after it's happened. The stuff that's million, millions of years old, they don't understand. That's what they're calling pillow basalt, and it's not. Okay, then, then the, in this video, hold on a minute. Okay, in his video, he's cracking open rocks. He's cracking this, these open, and right... He's not finding his crystallization like he would find, like he, and he even says, I'm not finding it, huh, that's kind of strange. And you know what, he doesn't look around, he gives up, he just walks away from it, like, I got it all figured out, what the heck. And I'm sitting here going, are you kidding me? You can't do that. There's no crystallization. I went up there and looked, and there's actually no crystallization on pretty much any of it. But there is, let me show you something. Before I do, you see they got these little geological handbooks, and this one, he, call, he called it his hymnal. See, I told you they think of it as a religion, and bow down and worship rocks, but then he's going from this book, he doesn't know that much about it, and he's reading what some other guy wrote and stuff. And it's not true, man, this, these, this is not pillow basalt. Let me show you what I was going to say, though. Okay, I went up there and looked, and I, I videoed this rock, and I took pieces off it. There's white, see these white lines in it? That's part of the matrix of the cell, because these are cells. See, they're, I'll show you in a minute. They're, these are, this is the lining of the cell, of these cells. Okay, but I went up there, see, this is crystallized. This, this white, this white checking in here, it is, it is it's almost like an agate. I brought pieces home of it, and it is crystallized. So how did that crystallize? Yet if this is intrusive basalt, it didn't crystallize if it's deep below the surface. Because he can't find any crystallization like he normally could find. Because and I went up and I found. I'll show you. But these white lines in here, they're crystallized. So if you're a geologist, how they crystallize? Be it this didn't crystallize. Being underneath the surface and pressure. You see, this is just a whole bunch of round ones in here, man. That's what that is. All right, here's one I'm busted open. I can see the rind, the, the cell around the outside edge. And see how they all taper? They're bigger out here and they taper toward the center. That allows the ball to stretch out and stretch back in directions. You know what I'm saying? It can stretch that way, that way. But it's only going to go back to center because of the way that this interstitial ball is designed in its structure, its matrix. You'll see how it all tapers to the center. And that will allow, I believe that allows that to stretch out. Look at, look at, that, look at that up in there. 
here's that here's that, that I was telling you about the uh, the white lines and, and they're crystallized but yet the rest is not crystallized there's those lines I was talking about now I think this could just be the membranes in or the connective tissue in the cell itself I'm just not sure but uh, isn't that something all right okay here I see I brought a piece of those starbursts out of those centers and I'm gonna put this is a piece of granite he had to walk over to get to it this is totally different than what we got back over there. Here's part of one of the... Here's a piece that I just took off of a piece of those star bus, those round things. See that? No crystallization. This is right on top of... This is a big old gravel, a rock pit. See all this? This is granite. And he had to walk over this granite to get to this spot. To the right, that I just showed you right over there. So he walked over top of the granite that is on top, on top of what he's calling pillow basalt. And it's not crystallized. Now these spheres I'm going to be showing you, they're all, they almost look like, you ever watch Alien and see those eggs in there? They almost look like that. Here's the surface on one, okay? This is biological, folks. This is not geological like they're thinking. And if you go up and look at concretions, pictures of concretions on Google, you'll see what I mean. Here's one here. See how it's got the rind around it? That would have been the cell around it. And I'll show you what, how they actually stretch and pull back to shape. Here's a good spot. Uh, sh picture of two of them with the rind around it okay this is this is a cell around the outside edge I find on the connective tissue I find the exact pattern on the outside edges of the uh, connective tissues I find at the coast I've been showing those massive connective tissues same thing this pattern on the outside rind or the cell or the, I mean uh, here's a third one down here see and they're all the same they all have a rind they all have the same pattern and they're real chunky in the middle, and that just that chunkiness is designed to stretch out and stretch back like bands. Okay, here's ones that are kind of chunky that I can show you. See, they're bigger out here and they taper towards the center. That's why I call it a starburst. And what that does is it allows it to expand and contract to a back to a ball. So anything attached, it pulls back to the center. So it stretches. You know, you can it can be stretched different directions. It's always going to pull back to the ball because of the way that matrix is designed. There's another one down there, it's even better. Come on, focus. See, you can see it, how they come up to a point, the wider on the outside edges and come to a point in the center. That's so they can pull out and pull back to the center. I believe that's what how that works now. All right, here we go. This is what I was talking about. The centers are all identical. You'd never have that, okay? And the way they're designed, they're real blocky and they taper towards the center. And I believe that allows the, this, this interstitial ball to, to, to come out of shape and then pull things back so it can stretch and come back to a round ball. You see what I'm talking about? That's why that's and they're, 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 they're actually designed in a starburst. Smaller in the center. See that triangle piece? See how they taper? They taper towards the center. See that? See that? How they taper towards the center? Okay, this allows them to stretch out and pull back. Okay, this is biological. These are interstitium. And they're identical. I mean, they're, this one's sitting on the other ones. Look at there. You can see those white lines I was talking about. And those are crystallized. Okay, so how did it crystallize yet, yet the intrusive ma uh, magma never, the basalt? Because that, that's supposed to be, lick, you know, magma below the surface. That's what they call intrusive basalt. And it crystallizes when it's under pressure. It was under pressure, so it needs a granite. Are you kidding me? How many, I mean, it's older than the granite then, right? <laughs> but those white lines I was telling you about, I brought some home, they're crystallized. But yet the rest isn't. He even admitted it's not. In his video, and I'll leave a link to that video. There's that starburst pattern. See how it tapers to the center, thicker on the outside, tapers down. Okay, that allows them to pull back. Look at look at the look at the texture on that stuff. I mean, oh my, I just couldn't believe. It. I, that's why I had to go up there and do a video. It was driving me nuts. I was guy. This guy is so. I was saying this guy is so wrong. Okay, I'm gonna get to my videos. There's gonna be at least three, possibly four. The last video will be drone footage from on top of Mary's Peak. Okay, right here, I was just down over the hill. That's where we got the stuff that he's calling pillow basalt. I noticed this setting up here. I'm going, what the heck? Plus, I'm walking across all this granite, this pit, getting to that. And that's granite up there. That there's granite. And I have it in my video. And we have no more of the round spheres here, which I knew we'd run out of because you're getting to the top layer of skin. I even mentioned in my videos down below that we're running out. We're gonna, if we go higher, we're going to run out of these interstitial balls. Or we're going to be getting away from whatever... Oregon or whatever they might be surrounding and we're gonna get out of them and right here I only find a couple and up here none and it turns to granite 
Okay? And granite, if you research granite, the reason it crystallizes is because it's bleed deep below the surface. It's intrusive magma and it crystallizes and there's different colors. There's red, there's gray, there's black, but it crystallizes. And but yet we got the pillow basalt that he's calling it right below it. I mean it's not even fifty feet below. In fact, part of it's right there. With granite on top of it. Now, we were about to uh maybe 3,000 foot level. This, this mountain's 4,000, 4,100 feet tall. As I went about 500 to maybe 1,000 feet higher up the road away from where that, what I just showed you, what he's calling pillow basalt, I ran into this. And these are hexagonal patterns in here. These are hexagonal like you have uh, basalt columns, but these are going this way. These are laying horizontal. Okay? And that's, and th they say this is intrusive, so it's below the surface, yet it's on top of what he's calling pillow basalt, and it's not crystallized. Well, those are horizontal basalt columns, instead of vertical. <laughs> okay, there's that hexagonal pattern. We're starting to run into right all through here. You can see them, they're laying, they're coming at us this way. I'm going to go look at them from the side, and you'll know what I'm talking talk about. This is almost a thousand feet higher than where we just were looking at what he's calling pillow basalt and that granite. So that means this would have been on top of the granite, pushing down on it. It's crystallized because this is below the surface. So you got this on top of the granite. Then you got what he's calling pillow basalt, and it's not crystallized. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And he just walked away from it like, oh, no big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. You're wrong. Okay, we're going to get into them looking from the side here. And you'll see what I'm talking about. See how they're, 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 they're like tubes. See that, how they come out there? Okay, this would, they say this, these would have been underneath the surface too, and that, you know, I've done videos on uh, columnar joint, jointing.